Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Teenager, and this is just a really quick update about Game Center and iOS 4.1. So, uh, one of the key things about iOS 4.1 is actually not the fact that it fixes some bugs, but the fact that it introduces Game Center, which is now readily available to everyone. So, when you first launch Game Center, you'll be greeted with the screen where you sign in with your iTunes account, and uh, actually, you just go through and you choose your alias, which is actually uh, exactly like a, a gamer tag for Xbox Live except it's for Game Center on iPhone. So uh, my alias is Tech Teenager, and uh, feel free to add me as a friend if uh, you see this video. But uh, really, once you've signed in and um, got everything set up, you'll be greeted with this home screen. And what it is, it has uh, some info about yourself at the bottom, your friends in the next tab, and your games, and then your friend requests. So I actually used to have a bunch of friends because uh, I, I, I was on this earlier because I, I am a developer. But uh, actually what happened is in, when Apple launched Game Center, I guess to give everyone a fair chance, they deleted all the aliases and all the friends and stuff like that, so no one got really a head start. So uh, if, you've had ga if you had Game Center on your device and you had an alias, I r highly recommend going in there and getting your alias back so that someone else doesn't take it. But uh, one of the cool things about Game Center is that you can really just do a status update like Facebook. And what I mean by that is just clicking in this box right here. You can go through and uh, just post a status. I wrote, hello everyone. And uh, everyone who can see this is actually just your friends. They go, th go through and see it underneath your alias and their friends, friend list, and also people who uh, are, who you actually sent a friend request. So um, although Apple says you can find them, the Game Center games that are compatible, this actually uh, isn't true. So uh, I have a list of working Game Center games in the description. And uh, this is actually just from a website, so it might not be all of them, but uh, it's all the ones confirmed working right now at the time of this video. Because you see, if you find Game Center games, it all does is takes you to the Game Center page on Apple.com. So uh, it's a cool page, but it actually doesn't say anything about what games are compatible. Two two popular games that are compatible are Angry Birds and Field Runners, and I actually have both these purchases off of a prior iTunes account, so I had to go through and recover those. But uh, Angry Birds, I'll just go through and just tell you a brief uh, synopsis while I'm playing it. Um, basically. There's two types of games in Game Center, and those are multiplayer games like Dino Smash Online, or they're just achievement achievement based games like this, where you just go through and you get achievements. So uh, although you can't actually play multiplayer on this, you you do earn achievements, and I'm assuming they'll try to reward you for that somehow, like Xbox Live, you get gamer score. But um, I'm really not quite sure how they're going to do it. So um, actually, when you actually uh, have a friend and you have a game that is capable of playing online, you can go ahead and send invites to your Game Center friends, and it'll go through and it'll send you a push notification through your device asking you, or so-and-so wants to play a certain game with you, do you want to accept? So if you press OK, it'll go ahead and open the game and get everything started, so you can begin playing with that person right away. And uh, really that's one of the coolest things about iOS 4.1 is the fact that it integrates it in the operating system, and because it's an Apple standard, uh, it'll be readily um, just integrated throughout the whole thing. So uh, just to make sure you get those notifications, go go ahead and enable push notifications just to make sure you don't miss out when someone wants to play with you. But uh, that was just a really quick update. Um, as far as jailbreaking goes, yes, it can be jailbroken. And if you want to see the jailbreak video, um, go ahead and click the annotation right now. Or you can check in the description if I didn't put it there yet. It's compatible with the iPod Touch 2G, non-MC, and the iPhone 3G. And uh, although I did have this working earlier, I was unable to sync, so I'm not sure if that's just me. But uh, it does jailbreak. It can add City. It's just it wasn't work. Uh, I wasn't able to sync for a while. So um, if you want to watch that video, just remember to go click the annotation. But uh, also send me a friend request on Game Center. My alias is Tech Teenager. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you.